반갑습니다. Hello everyone. 합창단의 음악이 너무 아름답죠. The music of the choir is so beautiful, right? 어, 정말 감격스럽습니다. I'm so moved. 오늘 우리 이수의 독창 음량 음폭 너무 넓었고요. Like the sound of the solo Suyeon Lee her or the way she sang. 아름다운 합창단들. The way the sound it was very wide and rich and was so beautiful. 하나님 앞에 감사를 드립니다. I'm so thankful before God. 오늘 사도행전인 말씀을 읽겠습니다. We'll see the word in the book of Acts today. 사도행전 4장입니다. Let's see chapter 4. 1절부터 22절까지 읽겠습니다. From verse 1 through verse 22. 사도행전 4장을 펴 주시오. Let's open your Bible to Acts chapter 4. 사도행전 <웃음> 4장 1절부터 읽겠습니다. Oh, if you're there, I'll read from verse 1. 사도들이 백성에게 말할 때에 제사장들과 성전 맡은 자와 사도 개인들이 이르러. And as they speak unto the people, the priest and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them. 백성을 갈친과 예수를 들어 주원 자한테 부활한 도와 전함을 싫어하여. Being grieved that they thought taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. 죄를 잡으면 날이 이미 젊은 거로 이튿날까지 가두었으나. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold until the next day, for it was now even even tide. 말씀 들은 사람 중에 믿는 자가 많은 남자의 수요가 약 5천이나 되었더라. However, many of them which heard the word of word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. 이튿날 관원과 장로와 서유관들이 예루살렘에 모였는데. And it came to pass on the morrow that there the rulers and elders and scribes. 대상 안나스와 가야바와 요한 알렉산더와 및 대제사장 문 중에 다 참내하여. And Annas, the high priest, and Cephas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest, were gathered together at Jerusalem. 사도를 가운데 세운 못대 너희가 무슨 권세와 네 이름으로 이 일을 행하였느냐? And when they had set them in the midst, and they asked, By what power or by what name have ye done this? 이에 베드로가 성령에 충만하여 가로되 백성의 가는과 장로더라. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, 만일 병인의 경한 착한 일에 대하여 이 사람을 어떻게 구원 얻었냐 오늘 우리에게 질문하면, And if we this day be examined of good deed that done to the important man by what means he is made whole, 너희와 모든 이스라엘 백성은 알 백성들은 알라. 너희 십자가에 못 받고 하나님 죽은 자 가운데 살리신 나사로 예수 그리스도 이름으로. And it be known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doeth this man stand here before you all. 이 예수는 너희 건축자들이 버린 돌로서 집 모퉁이 머리 돌이 되었느니라. This is the stone which was set at note of your you builders, which has become the head of the corner. 다른 이름으로 구원 얻을 수 없나니 천하 인간의 구원 얻을 만한 다른 이름을 우리에게 주신 일이 없음이니라 하였다. Neither is there salvation in any or any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among them whereby we must be saved. 저희가 베드로와 요한이 기탄 없이 말함을 보고 그 본래 학문 없는 범인으로 알았다 이상이 여기며 또그 전에 예수와 함께 있던 줄도 알고. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marvelled and they took knowledge of them and they had been with Jesus. 또 병나한 사람이 그들과 함께 있었는 것을 보아 힐난할 말이 없는지라. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. 명하여 공회에서 나가라 하고 서로 의논하여 가로되. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves. 이 사람들 어떻게 할꼬? 저희로 인하여 유명한 표정 나타난 것이 예루살렘 사는 모든 사람에게 알려졌으니 우리도 부인할 수 없는지라. Saying, What shall we do to these men? For the for the indeed a notable miracle had been done by the by them, which is manifest of all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. 이것은 민간에 더 퍼지지 못하게 저희를 위협하여 이후에 이 이름으로 아무 사람에 말하지 말게 하자고. But that is spread no further among the people. Let us straightly threaten them, and that they speak henceforth to no man is in in this name. 그들 불러 경계하여 도무지 예수 이름으로 말하지 말고 하지도 말라 하니. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. 베드로 요한이 대답하여 가로되 하나님 앞에 너희 말 듣는 것이 하나님 말씀 듣는 것 옳은가 판단하라. But Peter and John answered and said, said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God judge ye. 우리는 보고 들은 것을 말하지 아니할 수 없다 하니. For we cannot but speak the things we have seen and heard. 관원들이 백성을 인하여 죄를 어떻게 벌할 도를 찾지 못하고 다시 위해 봐야 놓아주었으니 이는 모든 사람 그된 일을 보고 하나님께 영광을 돌리미라. 
So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish, punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for what which was done. 이 표적으로 병 나는 사람이 40여 세나 되었더라. For the man was above 40 years old, all, on whom this miracle of healing was shewed. Yeah. 말씀이 너무 좋아 사도행전 다 읽고 싶었는데. The word is so good. I wanted to read the whole chapter of the book of Acts. 예만큼만 읽겠습니다. But I would just read this much. 어, 생각을 해 보면은. Uh, but thinking about this. 베드로 얼마 전에 예수를 세번 부인한 겁니다. Just a little while ago, Peter, uh, Peter denied Jesus three times. 예수님 부인하고 난데 아무리 생각해도 예수님 부활하신 예수 다시 뵀을 때할 말이 없는 거예요. After denying Jesus, when he saw Jesus again who resurrected, he was speechless. 베드로는 생각 내가 무슨 주님의 제자야. Peter thought, what kind of disciple am I? 아니야, 난 어부야. I'm but a fisherman. 난 고기를 잡으러 가야. I'll just go fishing. 이제 그 예수님 부활 모든 걸다 버리고 고기를 잡으려고 가려고 있었어요. So he gave up everything and he just went on fishing. 그때 예수님 베드로를 찾아가서 베드로에게 이 일을 하시는 거예요. That's when Jesus visited Peter and Jesus began to work. 베드로를 위해서 <웃음> 아침을 준비해 놓으시고 He prepared the breakfast for for Peter. 물을 준비해 놓으시고 prepared the water. 식사를 하셨습니다. He had the meal together. 주님이 베드로에게 물었습니다. Then Jesus asked Peter. 요한의 아들 시몬아, 네가 모든 사람 나를 더 사랑하느냐? Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? 베드로는 예수님을 세번 부인한 자기가 복음 전도자 되거나 그럴 수 없다고 생각해요. Peter thought it was almost impossible for him to become disciple of Jesus. He had denied Jesus three times. 그러니까 예수 세 번에 부인한 인간이 무슨 주님을 증거하고 말도 안 되는 이야기라고 생각해요. I who have denied Jesus three times, how can I, be, how can I become a preacher of the gospel? 네, 분명하게 차이를 보시면 예, 베드로하고 예수님의 생각의 차이였어요. Here you can see the clear difference between the thought of Jesus and thought of Peter. 예수님은 이 베드로를 귀한 종으로 쓰시겠다는 것이죠. But Jesus wanted to use Peter as the precious servant of God. 1962년에 저는 제약 속에 있다가 죄 사함을 받았습니다. In 1962 I was in total sin I was saved from the sin. 그때 저는 너무 주님 앞에 감사했습니다. Back then I was so grateful to the Lord. 직장도 없었고 I had no job. 돈 아무 버는 돈이 없으니까. I was not making any money. 10원짜리 하고 구할 수 없었습니다. So I didn't even have a penny with me. 내가 하나님께 정말 헌금을 하고 싶은 마음이 있었습니다. I wanted to give an offering to the Lord. 근데 정말 헌금할 돈이 없었습니다. But I had no money whatsoever to give unto the Lord. 막 도둑질이라도 해서 드리고 싶은 그런 마음이 일어날 때가 있었습니다. I wanted to even steal something to give it to the Lord. 그 말이 안 되죠. But that makes no sense. 어느 날 내가 생각하기를 One day I thought 그 당시에 유교 사변 이후에 남자들도 많이 죽었어요. After 전쟁터에서 Korean... After the Korean Civil War, many men died on the battlefield. 그래서 이제 거의 여자들만 사는 집들이 우리 동네 많았는데. So in our community, there were many houses where, but where there was only women and kids in the house. 그 집에 볼 일이 있어 가 보면은 비가 오면 방 바닥에 세수 때안 맺혀 놓고 있고. Sometimes when I visit certain houses, they only had, they had this you know basin in, under, underneath uh, the root because it was leaking. 방 구두리 꺼져서 불을 때면 온방 연기 같은 그런 것들 여러 번 봤어요. Sometimes in certain houses, the, you know the floor, you know it fell to the ground, and so the, the smoke was coming out of the floor, so it had, they had a lot of problems like that. 내가 예수님을 위해서 할 만한 아무것이 없는데. So I cannot do anything for Jesus. 저 이런 내가 할수 있겠다 싶었어요. But I think repairing those, at least I could do that. 내가 나이가 많을 늙어서. So if I get older. 저는 집에 자주 아주머니 제가 방구들 고쳐 주겠습니다. Um, uh, ma'am, I will just go repair your floor. 아, 이거 다 고쳐졌습니다. I repaired it all. 이제 불 때문에 연기 안 나올 겁니다. I can hit the room, the smoke will not come out of the floor anymore. 그리고 이제 지붕 새는 집을 전부 다 집을 드러내고 새로 집을 갖다 올려놓고 잘 묶으면 잘 비가 안 새도록 그거 할수 있겠더라고. And in the houses where the roof uh, root is leaking, I will just go bring some, you know, straw and repair it, and the the water will not leak anymore. 그 부인에게 이야기를 했어요. Now I'll tell the ma'am. 마음에서 아주머니 물한컵 주시겠습니까? Ma'am, can I just have a cup of water? 물한컵 얻어 먹고 예수님의 이름을 그 집에 부들 고쳐 주고 지붕 고치 그런 일을 할수 있겠다고 생각해. Just having a cup of water and pushing and doing that in the name of Jesus, I think I, at least I could do that. 내가 복음 전도자 된다는 건 상상도 하지 못했어. So I never imagined of becoming a preacher of the gospel. 제사 안 받고 주를 섬기고 싶었는데. After having received salvation, I wanted to serve the Lord. I just thought of doing that. 그러고 난 뒤에 성경을 읽기 시작했어요. And after then, I began to read the Bible. 친구야, 
66권은 제가 한 페이지인데 2분이 걸리는데. The old and new testament when I when I were to read just one page it takes me about two minutes. 1800 페이지가 되니까. As it has uh, 1600 800 pages. 60시간이면 승부 약한 번을 읽겠더라고. So in 60 hours time I could read the bible whole time the one time through. 하루에 6 10시간씩 6일이면 승부 약한 번 읽을 수 있어. So if I read 10 hours a day if I in 6 days time I could read the whole bible once. 여러분 일주일 만에 승부 약한 번씩 읽었어요. So I read the whole Bible maybe in six weeks. Many times I did that many times. 성경을 열번 읽고 스무 번 읽고 서른 번 읽으니까. I read the Bible ten times, twenty times, thirty times through. 성경에 대한 전체의 윤곽들이 보이고 성경이 짝이 있다는 사실도 알게 됐어. At this I could see how the outline of the Bible and see that there are mates of the words. 그 성경이 너무 내 마음을 강하게 끄는 거예요. And the Holy Spirit was leading my heart strongly. 그때 저희들 교회는 장로 교회였었는데. Back then I was going to a Presbyterian church. 네, 죄사함 받았다는 이야기를 하고 죄사함 받았는데 강조를 했어요. And I emphasized on my salvation, how I got saved and received forgiveness of sin. 한 달쯤 됐을 때 목사님이 저를 탁 치시더라고요. And about one month later, the pastor kicked me out. 너무 우스운 것이 바옥수 선생 주일날 차 탔다고 수찬정지 처분을 내린다고 들어. Uh, what was fun was that because I took the car on Sunday, he pro prohibited you know me having a holy communion then. 주일날 우리 교회 차한 탄산 거의 없었는데. There was barely nobody not taking car on Sunday. 목사님도 아닌데 특히 대구 공부하기 때문에 주일마다 차 타는데. Even the pastor's daughters, because they were staying, studying in Daegu, every Sunday they had to take the car to come up there. 한 눈에 목사님 나를 치시는구나 생각을 했어. At the first glance, I could tell that he was trying to kick me out. 그리고 이제 그때도 그래도 난 그러지 않았는데. 길에서 어떤 여 선생을 하나 만났어. And on the street I was met certain church member of the church. 우리는 그 이제 남녀 간에 그 말서로 놓고 있는 김 선생 재산 받아야 돼. So between men and women we spoke freely in the church. So I said, Mr. Kim, you have to get saved. 이제 우리 그를 그뭐 그렇게 친하진 않아도 그냥 지냈는데. So we weren't that close, but we could talk freely. I thought. 그 여자가 나한테 뭐라 어이 박 선생 정신 차리라. But that lady told me, Mr. Park, you have to get back to your senses. 네가 목사님보다 낫나? Do you think you are better than the pastor? 목사님한테 가 얘기해라. Go tell pastor. 이제 교회가 나 이렇게 외면하는 거예요. So the whole church seemed to be ostracizing me. 그날 제가 우리 교회 청년들이 모이는 방에 갔어요. So that day I went to the room where our young members were gathered. 방문을 막 열려고 하는데. I was about open. I was about to open the door. 아, 내 이야기 한 소리가 들렸어. I heard them talking about me. 박옥수 그 녀석 웃기는 녀석이야. 옥수 Park is such a funny punk. 내가 지를 하는데 지가 죄가 없다고. I know him and he's telling me that he has no sin. 오늘 확 열고 어째 어째 하고 막 하려고 하다가. I just wanted to jump into the room and say, What did you just say? 조용히 문을 손가락 손문 꼬리를 나왔어요. But I quietly I let go of the doorknob. 그러니 거기서 예배당을 나오는데 한번몇 뭐 미터 이제 문까지 나오는데 이제 나는 아무도 없구나 다참 외롭게 생각을 했어. So I just walked out of the chapel and I thought to myself, I'm all by myself, I'm alone. 근데 중요한 예수님은 나를 계속 이끄셨어요. However, Jesus was still guiding me. 1962년 내가 제 사함을 받을 때. So since my salvation in 1962. 직장도 없었고. I had no job. 아무도 할수 없는 불쌍한 사람. I was totally useless. I could not do anything. 그런데 나는 내가 복음 전도자 이건 상상도 해본 적이 없어. So for me, I never imagined of becoming a gospel preacher. 예수님은 나를 복음 전도자로 만드시려서 그때부터 계획을 하신 거야. However, Jesus he had already planned to make me into a gospel preacher. 성경을 읽고 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 읽었습니다. I read the Bible over and over again. 성경 읽으면 읽을수록 너무 놀라운 거예요. The more I read the Bible, it was amazing. 성경 너무 놀라. The more I read it, it was amazing. 이번에 미국에서 CLF를 하는데. Now this time around, we had CLF in the United States. 미국에 사는 현직 목회자들만 모인 집회를 제가 인도했습니다. So I led this conference where all these American pastors had gathered. 거의 한 분이 나 간증을 하는데 나는 그못 봤는데 누가 영상이 찍혀 봤습니다. I didn't get to see him giving testimony, but one of the pastors gave his test gave his testimony, and I saw the video. 월요일 저녁에 히브리 챕터 10. On Monday evening, Hebrews chapter 10. 화요일 아침에 히브리 챕터 10. On Tuesday morning, Hebrews chapter 10. 화요일 저녁 챕터 10. On Tuesday evening, Hebrews chapter 10. 다음에 수요일 아침에 챕터. Wednesday morning, Hebrews chapter 10 again. 이분이 충격을 받는 게 뭐냐면 This pastor he was shocked because 아직까지 어느 누구도 히브리서를 가지고 설교하는 분은 없어요. Until then he had never seen any pastor giving sermons on Hebrews. 저도 못 봤고 
10장 한 장을 가 일주일 얘기를 하니까. So I talked about Hebrews chapter 10 for the whole week. 그렇죠. 제사 안 받고 제가 변하시니까. And as he received the forgiveness of sin, he began to change. 그분 그 적은 게큰 교회 목사님이. He's not a pastor of a small church, but he's a pastor of a big church. 감격하는 거예요. So he was very moved. 내가 이번에 본 것은. So what I saw this time. 미국 큰 교회 목사님들. The pastors of mega churches in the United States. 얼마나 말씀을 잘하는지. They talk so well. 아, 진짜 그분들 말하는 거 보면 너무 우리는 뭐말 상대가 안 될지. When I see how they speak, they are so fluent. I think we have no match with them. 저런 분들이 성경을 알면 얼마나 설교를 잘할까. So if they speak and preach, they would be so great, I think. 정말 제가 많은 소망이 생겼습니다. So I became very hopeful. 이제 미국이 다 구원을 받겠구나. That the whole United States would get saved. 이번에 우리 집에 참석해 대부분의 큰 교회 다 우리 같이 하려고. 하고. So most of the pastors from big churches who have taken part in this conference, they want to work with us. 그리고 이제 한국에 모두 그렇게 와 보고 싶어 하시더라고. And they're really wishing and they're longing to come to Korea. 제가 참 하나님 앞에 감사한 것은. What I'm thankful for before the Lord. 하나님께서 죽은 나사로를 살리거나 병자만 고치는 것이 아니라 So God not only raised Lazarus was dead only healed the people who were sick. 어찌면 예수님이 죽은 나사로 살리거나 병자를 고치는 것보다 더 우리를 영적인 하나님의 사람을 만들기 원하신다는 사실을 알았어요. And I came to know that even more than raising Lazarus or healing the sick people, he wants to take us into his people. 그분이 정말 능하신 하나님이신데. As he is the almighty God. 우리 귀한 하나님의 종이 되기 위해서. In order to make us into his servants. 내가 잘나고 못나 그건 아무 문제가 안 된다고 생각해. Whether I'm good or bad, that doesn't really matter at all. 이제 나이가 80이 가까이 됐는데. I almost became 80 years old. 전 60년 동안 이 복음일을 한 동안에. As I do this work of the gospel for the past 60 years. 전, 전 정말 아무것도 아닌데. Although I'm nobody. 하나님이 우리를 바꾸는 그 부분을 정말 놀랍게 생각해요. I think it's really wonderful to see how God is changing people. 저는 사랑 우리 강남 교회 성도들에게 하고 싶은 이야기가 있어요. There is something that I, there is something that I want to talk to the lo our loving members of Gangnam Church. 이야기 무슨 이야기냐면. What I want to tell you is, 요아의 말씀은 내 생각은 너희 생각과 다르며 내 길은 너희 길과 달라서 그랬어. God said, your ways are not my ways, your way, your thought are not my thoughts. 그러니까 이제 여러분 우리가 지금까지 살아오면 생각했던 그 생각 내 버려 두고. So leaving aside your thought which, with which you lived until now. 만일 여러분들이 하나님이 말씀 그 마음의 생각을 받아들인다면. If you're able to take in the thought of God that you have heard. 하나님 여러분들을 새롭게 하실 겁니다. God would renew you. 그럼 여러분들 있는 형편, 환경, 뭐 지식, 학력 그 아무 상관이 없어. No matter what your education background or environment or your you know your level or whatsoever. 그분은 하나님이십니다. Because he is God. 여러분한테 어떤 분이라도. No matter who you may be. 아까 합창 이수연이 이야기를 했는데. Earlier I talked about Sister Suyeon Lee in the choir. 오늘 이수연이가 나한테 이런 이야기를 하더라고. One day Suyeon Lee said said this to me. 자기는 합창단에 그렇게 들어가고 싶었다. She said she really wanted to join the choir. 노래를 못했다. But she was not good at singing. 합창단 들어갈 길이 없어서 들어가려고 애를 썼다. So she had no chance of joining the choir, but she did her best. 나중에 알고는 메이크업 하는 그 부분에 자기가 할수 있었다. Later she thought she could maybe take part in the makeup parts. 합창단 메이크업 해주러 들어와서 합창단 연습하는 거 옆에서 기념으로 더 배운 거라. So she she joined joined the choir to make up the choir members, and she just learned how they were singing from you know as she was next to them. 제 합창단이 2009년 제주 국제 합창제에서 대상을 받았고요. Our choir won the grand prize in Jeju International Chamber Choir Competition in Jeju. 2011년 부산 국제 합창제에서 대상을 받았어요. In 2011, they won the grand prize as well in Busan International Choir Competition. 한국이었어요. That was in Korea. 전 생각했어요. I thought. 한국이니까 그렇지. It was possible because we are in Korea. 대 나가면 내 외국 감 다를 거야. If we take part in the international competition, maybe that would be different. I thought. 2014년 이태리 리베달 가드에서 최고상을 받았어. 2014 리베달 가드 in the choir competition in Italy, they won the grand prize. 이게 진짜 잘하는 거야. So this is working, I thought. 그의 스위스 몽트리 합창계 또 
혼성 분야 최고상을 받았어요. 2015년 독일 마크 오버도르프에서 세계 최고권 있는 합창제인데. 그 수많은 적을 물리치 최고상을 받았어요. 더 재밌는 것은 But it's even more interesting. 1등 하고 발표가 나자마자 As soon as they announced the one who won the grand prize, 하차는 뭐나 둘둘 말아가지고 왔어요. The choir they had this something rolled with their hands, and they unrolled it. 일등상 기념하는 그 그걸 미리 써가지고 왔어. The banner read uh, the congratulation, the first prize. 아무도 생각지 못한. So nobody had ever expected that. 근데 그 그게 아니고 지금은 그 당시하고 상상할 수도 없을 정도로 음악이 발달했어요. So now t h e 이게 하나님이 하신 일입니다. So this is the work of God I think. 오늘 아침에 여러분 누구든지 불문하고 This morning no matter who you may be 하나님은 여러분들을 사랑하십니다. God loves you. 그리고 여러분들이 죄 사함 받은 하나님의 자녀들을 and those who have received for f o r g i v e n n e s and become children of God. God will not just leave you alone. 귀한 하나님의 일꾼으로 만들려고 하십니다. God would like to turn you into precious workers of God. 문제는 우리 눈에 하나님이 안 보이니까요. Now the problem is God is not visible to us. 안 되니까요. We cannot talk to God in person, right? 우리 생각 안에 머물고 있는데. So people they tend to stay within their thoughts. 제가 요즘 우리 선교에 가장 귀하게 쓰이는 형제가 아, uh, the brother who is most preciously preciously used these days in our mission. 김기성 형제인데. There's Pastor Kim Sung Kim. 참 놀랍습니다. Uh, he's amazing. 이 사람은 진짜 막 깡패 출신이었고요. He was ex gangster. 살인죄 연루돼 교도소에서 십몇 년 형을 받은 사람이었어요. He was involved in a murder case, so he had been sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment. 근데 이분이 교도소에 있었는데 so he was once in prison. 자기 방에 한 다른 사형수가 있었어요. In his cell there was some other uh, prisoner inmate who was sentenced to death as well. 그, 형, 그 사형수는 결국 이제 사형을 당했어요. He was eventually executed. 근데 그 사형수가 사형을 당하기 전에 Before being executed, 자기의 책을 한권 줬어요. He had a book with him. He had given it to Pastor Kim. 그 책이 뭐냐면 죄 사함 그 다음에 제가 쓴 책이었어요. The title of the book was The Secret of Freedom from Sin and Being Born Again, which was written by me. 김윤성 형제가 교회 그 교도소에서 그 책을 읽으면서 죄 사함을 받아. So brother Kim Sung Kim, as he read the book in prison, he received forgiveness of sin. 그래서 오랫동안 교도 생활하다 이제 교도소 이제. After serving the sentence in prison for a long while, he eventually got discharged. But before getting discharged, he wrote a letter to his father. 아버지 불초 자식 이번에 교도 출소합니다. Father, your bad son is eventually getting discharged from the prison. 아버지 앞에 작은 절을 드리고 싶습니다. I would like to come before you and give give you a good bow. 그렇게 하고 생각을 했어. So that's what he thought of doing. 교도소에 가자. 성실한 사람들이 있는데. But there are certain sincere people in prison. 기독교 지도자, 불교 지도자, 가톨릭 지도자들이 교도소에 있어. It was there were Christian leaders and Catholic leaders and also Buddhist leaders among inmates. 그들은 가톨릭 신자, 기독교 신자, 불교 신자가 제로 교도소에 와서 이제 지도자가 됐죠. 그 지도자들 교도소 안에서. There were, there were Christians and there were Catholic and there were Buddhists before, but they got into prison. But in the prison, they became the leaders. 그 사람들은 어떤 사람이냐면 크게. 사람이라 하기 어려울 정도로 거룩하고 착실해요. So they were so good and they were so holy that it was almost impossible for us to call them human being. 진짜 그들은 그 교도소 안에서 진짜 거룩하게 살아. Among inmates, they live in a very holy life. 근데 그들이 교도소 나가서 6개월 만에 돌아오고 3개월 만에 빠른 사람 일주일 만에 돌아오고. But once they get discharged, sometimes they would come back after six months, after even one month. Some some people even after one week they would come back to prison. 그렇게 선한 사람들이 어떻게 저럴 수 있어? They were so good, but how could that happen to them? 김기성 형제가 이제 그 교도소에서 죄 사함을 받고 책을 읽고. But I guess I'm after having read the book, he received forgiveness. 그래 아버지한테 제가 며칠 날 간다고 편지를 했어. He wrote a letter to his father that on a certain a certain day I'll be going home. 친구들에게 편지를 해서 나 며칠 나가니까 우리 한번 만나자. And he wrote his friends as well that I'm on I'll be getting out on a certain a certain day, so we should get together. 그다 생각을 해 보니까. And after thinking a while, 그저 천주교 그 지도자 기독교 지도 불교 지도 그렇게 천사 같은 나가면 곧 다시 돌아오는데. Oh, that Catholic leader, Buddhist leader, Christian leader, they're angel like. People, but they got back to prison eventually. 자기도 나가면 별수 없이 다시 돌아오겠구나. 
So myself too. Once I get out, maybe having no choice, I'll probably come back to the 지그, prison. 지그탄 교도소에서 한 평생을 보내야 하는 거야. So I have to spend my whole life in this prison, in prison which I'm sick of. 그게 너무 분명한 거예요. So that was so obvious. 내 이거 벗어날 수 방법이 없어요. So how can I break free from this? 어떻게 해서 벗어나지? How can I break free from this? How can I break free from this? 하나님은 그 살인수로 연루돼서 교도소에 간. So to this inmate, God bestowed His grace upon this inmate who was involved in a murder case. 그리고 아무 방법이 없는 거야. But he had no choice whatsoever. 자 내가 다시 교도 돌수 없는데 이걸 다시 안 돌을 방법이 없는 거예요. How can I stop me from coming back to the prison? 내 지긋지긋한 데서 한 평생을 썩어야 돼. So I have to spend the rest of my life here in this prison which I'm sick of. 그다 갑자기 재산 받은 그 책. But all of a sudden, he remembered the book which we read and received the forgiveness of sins. So he wrote me a letter. Me who was the author of the book. Honorable Pastor Park. I was in this situation, and I was sent to the prison. 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 I She came to our church. Back then, I was in Daejeon. I had a vacant room, so I let him stay in the room. You can stay here. So this friend, he was very happy. As I read the Bible and as I work as a pastor in a church, I saw people changing people gradually. 이 사람이 교도소에 와서 아, 있다가 이제 나 우리 교회 그 빈방에 혼자 사는데. So he was once in, in a prison. He came out and he got into. He 아무도 in 화장실 청소 다 하고 청소 다 너무 성실. So he was very sincere man. He would do the you know cleaning of the you know restroom and uh, restrooms in our chapel. 6 개월이 지났어요. So he spent six months with us. 6 개월이 지났다. Well, it's been six months already. 나 다시 교도소 안 들어갔다. I thought I was going back into prison, but I'm not in yet. 이제 십 개월이 됐다. It's been ten months already. 이게 교도소 아니지. I'm not in prison, right? 내가 여기 교도 여기 여기 일 년이나 여기 머물러 있었네. I've been here in the church for over, almost about a week or year. 일년 동안 교도소 아 교도 우리 교회 화장실 청소 다. So for one year he cleaned the restrooms in our church. He was so happy. If I were not in the church, I would probably get. I went back to the prison. If I were not in the church, I would probably get. I went back to the prison. So I just like that. 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 3 개월, 6 개월 지나면서 내가 교도 다시 분명히 교도 갔을 때 나가 너무 행복해. But having spent three months, six months, he was so happy that he didn't go back to prison. 1년 지난 뒤에. After one year. 우리 성교학교 돌아가. He joined our missionary school. 참 좋았어요. He was so great. 그들은 뭐그 하여튼 그 그런 그런 거 있죠. 딱 결심하면 딱 하는 거. You know there are people like that, right? Those who make make uh, make determination, they will just go straight to the to the action, right? 정말 형제가 놀라. So that brother, he was amazing. So when about time when he was about to graduate from missionary school, he got married to a beautiful sister, beautiful lady. Somebody said, "I think all the gangster, all the gangsters in the downtown came to came to the wedding ceremony." Somebody said, "So this brother, he was working amazingly." 나보다 나이가 어리고 He's younger than me. 내 제자라고 하는데 He's my, one of my disciples. 내가 너무, 너무 존경스러워. But I do respect them. 야, 기성아. 너 진짜 귀하다. Hey, 기성, you are so precious. 그렇게 말은 안 하고 속으로 야. I don't say 넌 어떻게 기성아, 넌 어떻게 그러냐. I don't say that out loud. I'll say to, say to myself. 내가 기성이 발못 따라가겠는 거야. I don't think I'm, ha I'm, I'm maybe half of what he's doing. 여러분 목사가 되면요. You know, if you become a pastor, 많은 걸 보지만은 you get to see a lot of things. 하나님이 사람을 바꾸는 걸 봅니다. But you can see how God is changing people. 지난번에 여기 부천에 있을 때. Last time when you were in Pucheon, 이제 그 건물을 지으려고 했어요. You know, he was in Pucheon. He wanted to build a build a building there. 어느 날 와서 이제 그 뭐야 파일을 박아야 한다. And they said they had to, you know, this plant this thing called file. And I said, 
거기는 너비였기 때문에 파일 안 봐도 된다. Because that ground was like one swamp-like region, so we don't have to, you know, play plants. 너 같은 물이 일정하게 눌러기 때문에 고르게 다져져 있기 때문에 파일 안 봐도 된다 그래. Because when you build a building, the pressure on the ground would be regular, so it would be even to the whole uh, field, so there is no need to, you know, ins- insert this thing called file. 예, 알겠습니다, 목사님. Then he said, "Okay, pastor." 갔어요. And he went back. 이제 그 설계사가 와서 파일을 받는 설계를 아, 파일 안 받고 우리 하겠다고. So he talked to the architect that we don't want to plant this single file, and we just go in with the construction. 그래, 그 설계 사무소 뭐라? 아 파일 한번 허가가 안 난다고. And the one who's in charge of the art, the architect, the office, said if you don't, if you don't, if you don't insert those thing called file, we cannot go on with the construction. They said. 형제 나한테 와서 목사님 파일 한번 허가 안 납니다. 그 소리 안 해요. But he would not come back to me and tell me, Pastor, if you don't do that, then we will not be able to go on with the construction. He wouldn't tell me that. 아 그러면. 허가 안 나냐 안 되냐고. So if you don't do that, we cannot get the authorization. You say. 우리 안 짓겠다고. We will not then go on with the construction. Then we'll just leave it alone. I'll leave it like that. 목사님 말씀 거슬리가 면안 짓는다. I don't want to go against the word of the pastor. 그럼 중단해 버렸어. He just stopped the construction. 설계 사무소 가서. And uh, the, the office people <웃음> in the office. 일주일 뒤에 아 이거 안 되는데 어렵게 설계 그 허가를 받아. They came back after a week and said, oh, it was almost impossible. You know, in a very difficult way, we got the permit eventually from the office. 그런 이야기 듣고 참 고맙게 생각했어. So when I hear things like that, I'm so grateful to him. 다른 사람들도 아 목사님 파일 박아야 한답니다. 설계사 이렇게 합니다. 그냥 박읍시다. 아마 그렇게 했을 거예요. For other people, they would be like, oh, pastor, as we have, we have to do as we are told. Otherwise, we cannot go on with the construction. Maybe they would have said that. 야 기성아. Hey, Kisong. 넌 어떻게 그런 생각을 하냐? How could you How could you ever think of doing that? 제가 잘난 제가 하는 일 그대로만 해. So he would do as I as he's told. 교도소에 가는데. So he was in prison before. 성경 공부 갔어요. Once I went, to, he was once he went to the prison for the Bible studies. 교도소 오줌 말아 그랬어. But people in the prison they said do not come to the prison. 그 이튿날 또 갔어요. But following day he went went there again. 왜 왔느냐? Why did you come here? 오라 그래서 왔어. I I you told me to come. 누가 오라 그랬냐? Who told you to come? 선생님 오라 그랬어. You told me to come. 너 오지 I tell to come? I told you not to. 선생님 오지 말아 그냥 놔두긴 오라 소리로 들었습니다. He told me not to come, but I heard it as tell. I heard it as come. 기합이 허허 웃다가 들어가자고. And he laughed and he just let him in. 내가 볼때 자기라는 게 없어요. So he doesn't have this thing called himself. 내가 뭐늘 자기 잘해주는 것만 아니에요. So I'm not just being nice to him all the time. 제 별거 아닌 인간인데. So I'm really nobody. 이분 나를 이끄는 분이야. But he is the one leading me. 손끝만 하는 거 하나가 없어. 그것을 이용하지 않아. So he doesn't try to disobey me at all. He just try to be obeyed. 그럴 수, 그, 그 정도 아예 안 된다. 그러면 목사님 파일 박읍시다. 그럴 수 있는데. Ah, uh, the designer said we have to use this thing. Otherwise, we cannot go into the construction. 우리 목사님 파일 박지 말아갔다. 그럼 안 하겠다. But he said our pastor told us not to. Then I will not do this. 건축할 때다 세워놓고. Already they had all the blueprints set. 넌 어떻게 그런 마음을 가졌냐? How could you have such a heart? So it was so precious. I'm sorry to talk about an individual. So when I see how God is changing people in the church, it is so mysterious. I'm truly nobody. In everybody's eyes. 하나님이 저 같은 인간을 복음 전도자로 만들어 가고 있는 걸 알았어. But I could see God turning me into a preacher of the gospel. 세상의 모든 소망을 얻게 하시고. He gave me the hope of the world. 그리고 정말 주님만을 의지하도록 하게 하고. He let me rely on him alone. 내가 할수 있는 길이 아무것도 없게 만들었어. He, he, he made me almost he made me impossible in the world. 내가 이 복음 전도에 온 마음을 쏟을 수밖에 없었어. So I could only pour my heart into this preaching of the gospel. 나도 어리고 아는 것도 몰라 없었지만. I was young and ignorant. 성경을 읽고 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 읽는 동안에 as I kept on reading the Bible over and over again. 한 번씩 하나님의 마음이 보이는 거예요. Once once in a while I could see the heart of God. 우리 이 베드로 어떤 사람이었습니까? So Peter, what kind of person was he? 예수 십자가에 못 박히기 위해서 겟세마네에 딱 잡혀갈 때 When Jesus was captured in Gethsemane to be crucified on the cross. 다 제자들이 도망간 요한하고 베드로만 따라갔어요. All the disciples ran away but John and Peter. 대제사장 집에 예수 끌려갔는데 So Jesus was taken to the house of the high priest. 요한은 제사 잘 아는 사이라서 그냥 종도 잘하는 게 여종이 문지 기자들 돌려 보내줘서. John knew the high priest as well as the gatekeeper, the the maid, so she, he went in. 밖에 베드로 가서 못 도는 걸 봤어요. But he saw Peter waiting outside, being unable to come. 그 여종에게 이야기를 했어요. He told the maid servant. 내 안으로 같이 들어오면 되겠냐? Oh, can, oh, you can you let him in? I know him. Oh, please go on. 베드로 도는 그 여자 보고, 아 이분 예수 제자 같은데? As Peter came in, the maid servant saw him and said, "You are the servant. You are the disciple of Jesus." Oh no, 아니라 뭐큰 소리 쳤어. Oh no, I'm not. He shouted. 
들어갔어요. 들어가서 숯불을 쬐고 있는데 숯불 빛이 빛이 얼굴 딱 쳐다 너 분명히 예수 제자야 맞지? But because of the light people, they saw the face of Peter and said, "You are, you must be the disciple of Jesus." I don't know who you are talking about. I don't know who you are talking about. But the ducky got killed and was killed. That's when the rooster crowed. Peter, at that time, he was thinking about the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." I know that Jesus is the word of Jesus saying, "You would deny me three times before the rooster crows." So happy, but he stayed quietly. Yes, when he left, when Jesus left, Peter thought to himself, "What kind of apostle am I? What kind of a disciple am I? I'm but a fisherman. I'll just go fishing." 이제 자기가 그 예수님을 세번 부인한 그죄 때문에 그 가치 너무 고통스러웠어. Because of the sin of having denied Jesus three times, he was so much condemned. 자기 같은 사람 어떻게 예수님 제자가 돼다 부리시고 고기 잡고. How could a person like me become a disciple of Jesus? He just let down everything and he just went fishing. 그날 밤한 마리도 잡지 못했어요. That night he couldn't catch a single fish. 예수님이 새벽에 바닷가에 오셨어요. That early morning Jesus came to the seaside. 고기 잡았느냐? Did you catch any fish? 없어요. None. Let down your net to your right. And he caught so many fishes. 그래서 아 예수님이라고. Oh, he must be Jesus. 베드로 막 수영을 해서. He jumped in and he swam. 봤어요. He came before Jesus. 예수님 숯불을 피워놓고. Jesus lit a fire. 그걸 구워놓고. Prepared the bread and water. He was waiting for him to come. 아무 이야기 없이 예수님하고 같이 아침 식사를 했어요. So without saying a word, they had the breakfast together with Jesus. 식사를 마친 뒤 예수님 물으셨어요. So after the breakfast, Jesus asked Peter. 요한의 아들 시몬아, 네가 이 모든 사람을 나를 더 사랑하느냐? Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? 제가 이 글을 읽으면서. So when I read the scripture. 예수님 베드로에게만 그렇게. So would Jesus say that alone to Peter? Although I didn't see him, but he would also come to me and tell me the same thing. 우리 형제 자매들 예수 그렇게 말씀했을 것 같아. That's why he would tell our brothers and sisters as well. 그리고 우리 형제 자매도 예수 나타내기를 원하셨어. And you would like to manifest himself to us. 다만 눈에 보이지 않으니까 모르니까 그런 거. Because it's not visible, that's why they don't know that. 베드로가 생각했어요. Peter thought about it. 요한의 아들 시몬아, 네가 이 모든 사람 나를 더 사랑하냐? Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? 베드로 말, 예, 내가 주를 사 주께서 하십니다. And he said, Lord, you know that I love you. 내 양을 먹이라. Feed my sheep. 베드로 말, 이상한 감정이 흐르는 거예요. So Peter felt some, some strange emotion in him. 뭐요? 당신의 양을 먹이시라고요? What did you just say? I should feed your sheep. 나 같은 인간에게 왜 이런 귀한 사명을 주십니까? A person like me, why do you give me such a precious mission? 세 번이나 요한의 신문아 네가 이 모든 사람 나를 더 사랑. So three times he asked him the question. Simon, do you love us more than these? 예수님을 사랑한 것은 거짓 없는 사랑이 있어. So Peter had this love for Jesus. 그치만 예수님 한 일을 보면 할수 있는 자격이 없는 사람. But when you see the action that he did, he had. 베드로 그 갈등하고 있는데. He was hesitating in the midst. 예수님 베드로에게 가서 믿음을 넣어주시. That's when Jesus came to Peter and gave him this faith. 내 양을 먹이라. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. 여러분 예수님께서 저 같은 인간에게도 그런 이야기 참 많이 하셨어요. To a person like me, Jesus, he said alike. 내가 이렇게 전도자가 되겠나? Would I become a preacher like this? 나안 될까? I don't think so. 난 너무 부족해. I'm so lacking. 난 모르는 게 너무 많아. I'm so ignorant. 난 생각이 많이 부족해. I'm not thoughtful enough. 내가 어때 감히 예수님의 종이 돼? How how dare do I become the son of the disciple of Jesus? 나중에 세월 지나가서 내가 생각해 보면은. After a long while, when I think about it again. 예수님 베드로께 하신 말씀 나의 같은 인간에게도 내 양을 먹이라고 하셨구나. What Jesus had spoken to Peter, he would tell me the same thing that I'd feed that I should feed his sheep. 그리고 양을 먹이게 하셨구나. And he also let me feed his sheep. 성들 앞에 단 올라갈 때 성경 안 가지고 올라가서 이야기할 수 있어요. Each time before the members, I can just stand up before you and talk to you without the Bible. 내가 설교를 하고 있지만, although I'm giving sermons, 
우리 교회 때때로 뭐 김기성 형제만 말고라도 From time to time not only Pastor Kim and Kim 나보다 훨씬 뛰어난 전도자들이 많은 But there are many ministers who are a lot better than me. 어떤 성도들이 나를 부끄럽게 할 때가 참 많아요. And times even the members of the church they make they make me feel shy. 하면 어떻게 저렇습니까? How could the sister do that? 어떻게 저렇습니까? How could the brother do that? 아 근데 하나님이 나도 만드시는구나. But God is also working in my life as well. 예 주님. Yes Lord. 당신 나를 만드시면 If you work on me, 내가 만들어지겠습니다. Then I would be made by you. 보험이라 한 동안에. As I do the work of the gospel. 그래서 제가 참 어려운 일이 많았고 힘든 일이 많았지만. There had been many difficulties and hardship. 주님이 나를 권하신다고 알았어요. But I could say he was walking along with me. 김기성 형제가 진짜 막 전도자한테 가는데. 참 놀랍게 주를 사는 그 마음이 있는데. Brother k i s a n Kim has he has, he has this heart out of all ministers, this heart, precious heart of working for the Lord. 옛날에 깡패 노사인지 몰라도 그 깡패 기진에 딱 정하면 하는 거 그런 게 있잖아요. He, has, he, has, he was former gangster, so maybe he has his characteristics of a gangster. When he's determined, he just do that, go he go straight to the action. 나보다 나이도 어리고. He's younger than me. 경험도 적고. He's not as experienced as I am. 성경은 내가 좀더 많이 아는 것더라고요. I think even the Bible, I think I know better than him. 뭐 시험을 안 쳐봤지만. Well, I didn't do t e s t 근데 참 귀한 것은 But what is what is really precious about him? 내가 볼때 너무 너무 아름답게 주님 앞에 서임을 받고 있는 거예요. He's so preciously being used by the Lord. 김기성 형제만 아닙니다. Not only brother k i s o n Kim. 우리 교회 소망은 이 교회 안 하는 그런 일꾼들이 일어나고 있다는 거예요. The hope of our church is that such workers of God are rising in our church. 작년에 우리가 미국에서 크리스마스 칸타타를 휴스턴에서 했는데. Last year we organized Christmas cantata in Houston. 그 박성득 전도사가 Because Pastor Songdeok Park. 그뭘 했냐면은. What he did was. 장소를 이제 크리스마 직전에 그들 없어가지고 도요타 센터라는 데가 있는데. He was looking for a good venue, but there was this place called Toyota Center. 정말 잘못 한 1억 5천만 원쯤 든그 대관료를 내야 해. I think they probably had to pay maybe one uh, one point two million maybe one. 그게 만 명이 모이는데. Uh, they were about 100, 그 밖에 없어서 근데 계약금도 없는데 계약을 했어요. So without the without the contract money they just went on they did the contracts. 근데 그게 이제 미국 남부 지역 그 쪽에 월토에 제사 한 번은 그렇게 목사님들이 참 많아요. But there were so many pastors who were saved through us in the southern region of the United States. 어떻게 그 행사를 하게 된지 자세히 이야기를 들어봤어요. So they heard how he was able to organize that event. 목사님들께 우리 그 감탄한다고 초청을 했어요. He said he went inviting other pastors to come. 그분들이 to wasso, 그쪽에 이제 제사 한 번은 목사님들이 참큰 교회 목사님 많은데. There were many saved pastors in that region. 깜짝 놀라요. 도요타 센터에서 한다고. They were surprised that he was organizing that event in Toyota Center. 만석이나 되는데. So it has 10,000 seats in the hall. 끝이 안 보이는데. You know, it's so far. You cannot see the end. 그래서 대관료가 얼마나 그런가? How much did you have to pay? 이렇게 5천 원 가까운 돈이었어. It was about 125,000, 20, 20, 25 million won. 그래서 물어봤어요. So you asked them. 아 이거 어떻게 이걸 얻었냐고. So how could you think of you know getting this place? 그냥 계약금 없이 얻었다고. We just, we just did the contract. We just got the place. 거기 이제 미국 구원받은 큰 교회 목사님들이 우리가 가까운 날 참만 그분들 전부 다. 수표 안 써줬어. So many many American pastors were very close to us. He wrote checks for him. 어떤 분은 뭐 천오백 불, 이천 불, 천 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 불, On the day of our event, many cars came from Mexico. t h e r e w e i g h t n e y were making this no. Man, they w e r chasing the cars. What was it? The Mexican people, many people, were totally filled. There were many people who were totally filled. There were many people who were left outside. They had to go back. And then the church went out and gave a message. They were moved. They were moved. So I went there for the Christmas concert. I gave a message there, and they were moved. 주님이 이렇게도 일을 하시네. So Lord, you could work this way as well. 너무 놀라운 거예요. It was so amazing. 이제 하나님은 당신의 피로 제사 안 받은 자녀도 하나 하나에게. So to each and every one of His children who are saved by His blood. 이제 여러분이 가지고 있는 인생의 그삶 계획 말고 다른 더 놀라운 계획을 하나님은 갖고 계십니다. Not your plan for your life, but He has even better plan for your life too. 
whether you're young or, or old, 키가 크든 적든, whether you're taught or taught or short, 배웠던 적게 배웠, whether you're well learned or not well learned, 여러분에게 하나님의 계획과 뜻을 가지고 있습니다. God has His will and plan for you. 하나님은 그렇게 여러분들을 만들어 가고 있습니다. That's how He's working on you. 제가 생각을 했습니다. So I thought about it. 이번에 저들이 저뭐 5월 25일부터 우리가 저 잠실을 빌려서 대전도 집회를 하기로 하죠. From 23rd of May this month we're having this uh, grand bible seminar in Jamshil Stadium. 하, 제가 결정한 게 아닌데. So it was not me who decided. 너무 감사한 거예요. I'm so thankful. 한국 사람들 아좀 들어 봐라. Uh, you Koreans have to come and listen. 제가 이스라엘 갔던 이야기들 그다음에 남미에 있었던 이야기들 뭐 이런 이야기 다 그들이 아는 거예요. You know, they're all aware of what had, what had happened in Israel in South uh, South America. 하나님 그들에게 복음을 전할 기회를 주시는구나. So God gave us the chance to preach the gospel to them. 이번에 몇 명이나 구원을 받을. So how many people would get saved this time? 지난번 우리 K Hotel에서 우리 행사할 때는. Last time when we held our event in K Hotel. 일반 교회 목사님 500명이 넘게 오신 거예요. There were more than 500 pastors from other churches. 그래서 장로님들이 막 우리 구원받은 간증을 하는 거예요. And their elders were giving their testimony about being saved. They were not our members. 천오백 명이 모여 너무 너무 놀라웠어. So 1,500 people they were gathered. It was amazing. 한국 교회는 굉장히 지금 혼란스럽습니다. So the Korean church must be in confusion. 교회를 흩는다는 사람들이 생겼어. Because there are people who are trying to scatter the church. 도저히 믿어지지 않습니다. So it's not believable. 그런데 but 하나님이 한국 교회 일하고 계신 걸 느낀 거예요. But I can see that God is working in Korean church. 5월 25일부터 하는 이 이 집회에서 This grand Bible seminar which takes place from 23rd of May. 어떤 일을 하시는지 뭐 하나님이 일을 계획 세웠다. 너무 너무 감사. I'm so thankful that God did the plan to work here. 야, 하나님이 이제 우리 교회를 통해 많은 이 죄사함 받는 그 이야기를 하고 싶어. So I would like to talk about how we got saved and received forgiveness of sin through God. 오늘 한 자매님 나오셔서 One sister came up today and gave her testimony. She was she, she had been going to church. She didn't receive forgiveness of sin. 재산 받은 그 간정한 너무 너무 감격. And she gave her testimony of how she came to receive forgiveness of sin. 서울에 저런 자매들이 많이 일어나게 되기를 바라요. Many sisters would come. 교회 다니면 죄인이라 그러고. There are many people saying that they are sinners and they go to church. 맞아 죽을 때다 벌벌 떨며 죽어요. On the day of their death, they'll be trembling. They gave offering to the church. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. They were loyal to the church, but their sins were not washed. 죄인인 거예요. But when they stand before death, they are sinners. 그들이 어떤 처참 마음으로 세상을 눈을 감는지 몰라요. With what, with what miserable heart would they close their eyes to leave this world? 그들에게 긍휼을 베풀어 주옵소서. God, please have mercy on them. 우리가 주님의 말씀을 듣게 주옵소서. Let them listen to this gospel that we preach. 복음의 죄사함을 받게 주옵소서. Let them receive forgiveness of sin. 그들이 깨닫게 주십시오. Let them realize. 이를 위해서. Lord, please. 잠실 아니라 어디라도 우리 쓰고 싶은. Not only in Jamshil, but wherever we were. 우리 복음을 전하고 싶었어. We want to preach this gospel. 우리 모두 함께 전도하고 싶어. We want to witness. 마음을 쏟아 일하고 싶었던. We want to pour our heart in it and work together. 정말 아무것도 아닌 저들이지만. So we were nobody. 전 세계가 복음적인 면을 막 빠르게 휘말려 들어와요. But the whole world is coming together to hear this gospel. 하나님, God. 정말 아무 쓸모없는 저들인데. You are totally useless. 이 말씀 전하게 나가게 주셔 너무 감사해요. But I'm so thankful that you let me preach this word. 그 목사님 뭐 저머야 히브리서 chapter ten 가면 막 웃으면서 하는 일 보니까. You know that pastor with the smile on his face said Hebrews chapter ten. I saw him doing that. 그 집에서 재산 받았으니까. And he got saved and received forgiveness of sins. He's a pastor of a great church. 얼마나 기뻐 즐거워. He must be very joyful and happy, right? 하나님이 기뻐하시겠구나. God must, God must rejoice too. 예수님이 기뻐하시겠구나. Jesus would be happy too. 중요한 것은 우리도 그 피로 죄의 삶을 받았어요. The important, important thing is us too. We got salvation through His blood. 사탄은 우리의 시선을 우리의 길을 막 엉뚱한 데서 너 이거 해야 돼 이래 해야 돼. 집이 어렵잖아 막 그러면서 복음의 시선을 두지 못하게 해요. Satan tries to puzzle us, uh, saying you have to do this and you have to do that. Here, you try to get our focus out of the gospel. 많은 형제님이 세상 받고 너무 너무 감격도 놀라웠는데. But many people after their salvation, they were so moved. 사탄의 음성을 듣고 속아서 그냥 삶에 빠져 있는 사람들이 많아요. But listening to the voice of Satan, many people they have. 이제 우리가 잠을 깨서 우리가 받은 이 놀라운 
복음을 전해야 돼요. So we have to wake up from his temptation. We have to preach this gospel. 정말 베드로 아 뭐또 아닌 예수 세번 부인하고 가서 그 뭐야 고기 잡으러 갈리를 나 이제 뭐 내가 무슨 저 뭐야 사도야 아니야 난 어부야 고기 잡으러 간 베드로를 좀 불러와서. So Peter denied Jesus. He went to fishing. Went to Galilee and said, oh, "I'm not a, I'm not a person. I'm not a disciple. I will just go fishing." Jesus called him to come. 예수님이 아침을 먹고. He had breakfast with Peter. 요한의 아들 시몬아, 내가 이 모든 사람 나를 더 사랑하네. Simon, son of Jonas, love us, tell me more than these. 베드로 아무 제 주님을 사랑한 거 사실인데. Peter thought I was. It was true that I loved you, Lord. 내가 주를 부인했습니다. But I denied you. 세 번이나. Three times. 그럼 내가 어떻게 주의 일을 하겠습니까? How dare I say that I'm your disciple? 내 양을 먹이라. Feed my sheep. 믿어지지가 않는 거예요. He could not believe it. 뭐라고요? What did you just say? 나를 뭐 당신의 양을 치라고요? You just told me to feed your sheep. 당신을 반역하고 모른다고 하고 이런 인간 보고 당신의 양을 먹이라고요? I who stood against you, I who said I don't know you, you are telling me to feed your sheep. 그랬습니다. That's what it, that's what he said. 그리고 예수님은 and Jesus 베드로 양심의 가책 속에 빠져 있던 내 뿔을 두지 않았습니다. He did not just let him stay in the remorse of conscience. 그래서 건전해 주었습니다. He took him out of that. 베드로는 처음에 죄에 빠져 있었지만. Peter he was once fell into sin. 그 예수님을 세번 부인하고 난 뒤에. But after having denied Jesus three times. 그 악에 빠져서 헤어 나오질 못하고 했는데. He could not break free from that evil he had committed. 예수 베드로를 세우기 시작하는 거예요. But Jesus began to exalt him and establish him. 그때부터 베드로 나가서 예수님 부활을 증거하더라고요. From then on, Peter went out and began to witness the resurrection of Jesus. 오순절 성령이 충만해 임해서. The day of the Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost came upon them. 베드로 하루에 삼천 명이나 주님 앞에 있는 놀라운 일을 하는 거예요. He read, he led three thousand people into the hands of the Lord on one day. 이렇게 일하시는 거 보니까. When I see him working this way. 너무 너무 놀라운 거. This is so amazing. 여기 보면은. Here it says. 이런 말이 있습니다. It says this here. 사장에서 이제 사두개인 더 베드로 예수님 그. 사도를 비판했지요. Chapter 4 he did not he persecuted Christian he persecuted apostles right? 근데 베드로와 요한이 기탄 없이 복음을 전한 이야기가 나옵니다. But here is a story where John and Peter they preached the gospel. 이 베드로에게 나온 게 아니고 So it was not Peter and John who preached the gospel like this. 예수님에게서 나온 것이. But it was of Jesus. 자 이제 여러분은 예수님과 하나가 되었으면 죄의 사함을 받아. Now after when you receive the forgiveness of sin, you have become one with Jesus. 예수님과 나눠서 여러분의 삶을 살아야 하는 게 아니고. You don't have to leave your own life separating yourself from Jesus. 예수님과 나누어 놓고 예수님의 삶을 살아. You have to separate yourself from the Lord and you have to live the life of Jesus. 하나님 여러분 한 사람은 계획을 가지고 베드로에게 정말 나는 복음 전할 자기 난안 돼. 하고 그런 베드로를 찾아 귀한 종을 만드니까. Having a plan for each and every one of you, just as just as he worked for Peter, who who turned him into a servant of God. 나는 핍박이 있고 막 반대라고 대제가 해도 담대하게 우리가 하나의 말씀 듣는 게 너희 말 듣는 거 옳은가 판단해 봐라. 우린 보고 듣는 걸 말하지 않을 수가 없다. You know there there have been many revels and there have been many persecutions, but Peter and John said, "You think try to judge whether to listen, whether it is listen it is better to listen to the word of God than to listen to your word." 예수님 베드로 속에 있는 모든 문제 해결해 주시고 귀한 종으로 삼으신 거예요. After taking care of all the problems which were in Peter, Jesus took him as his servant. 베드로 속에 있는 삼 천명씩 오 천명씩 구원을 받는 거예요. After hearing their sermons, three thousand people were saved. 죽은 사람이 살아나고 병든 자가 일어나고 변할 받는 놀라운 역사를 주님이 하신. The dead rose again, and the sick they were healed. 사랑하는 여러분, loving folks. 오늘 오늘 이 시대의 작은 베드로입니다. We are little Peter, Peter of this generation. 그때 베드로처럼 여러분 자신 우리를 바라볼 때 정말 아무것도 아닙니다. So when we look at ourselves, we are nothing and nobody. 그런데 주님은 그런 베드로를 찾아가셔서. But that's the Peter that Jesus came in to see. 말씀했습니다. Jesus said to him. 이제 베드로가 자기 생각 가지고 난 주의 종 일을 못해. 나는 정말 주를 세번 부인해서 내가 무슨 예수님 제자야. 아니야, 난 사도가 아니야. 난 어부야. 난 고기 잡으러 갈 거야. 그렇게 고기 잡으러 갈릴리 바닷가에 간 베드로를 찾아가셔서. So when he held on to his own thought and said, oh, "I'm going, I'll just go fishing. I'm not a disciple of Jesus. I'm not, a, I'm not a fisherman." He just went on fishing. He, Jesus went to visit him. He visited that Peter in the Sea of Galilee. 양을 치라. He said, "Feed my sheep." 내 양을 먹이라. Feed my sheep. 베드로 너무 당황한 거예요. So Peter he was so puzzled. 내가 제자 되는 것도 안 돼. 내가 어떻게 당신의 양을 주님에 난 아니요 아니요 그러는데. I'm not worthy to be called your disciple, but why did you tell me to feed your sheep? 
놀라운 것은 but the amazing thing is 베드로 말이 예수 말씀을 이기지 못했습니다. but the thought of jesus could not uh, over, overtake the word of jesus 다시 말하면 in other words 예수님 말씀이 베드로 생각을 이기셨습니다. the word of jesus a bit of peter's thoughts 사랑하는 형제 자매 여러분 loving brothers and sisters 오늘 이 시대의 베드로처럼 just like peter of this generation 얼마나 내 생각 속에 머물러서 근심하고 염려하고 그렇게 합니까 for how long have you stayed within our thought and within our concern 우리 오늘 이 시대 베드로가 됩시다 let us all become peter of this era 자 내가 생각은 이런데 so this is my thoughts 성경은 나에게 뭐라고 말씀하셨나 But what does the Bible say? Peter, Jesus, seven times, he denied the Lord. He was not qualified to become a disciple of Jesus. After denying Jesus three times, he thought he was not qualified to become a disciple of Jesus. Jesus, what did Peter say to Peter? He told him to feed his sheep. But what did Jesus say to Peter? He told him to feed his sheep. 그러면 나도 베드로 같은 부족한 난데. Though I'm so lacking as Peter. 주님이 나에게도 베드로에게 하신 것내 양을 먹이라고 하시겠구나. But as he told him, so he would tell me the same thing. 복음을 전하라고 하시겠구나. He would tell me to preach the gospel. 주를 위해 살라고 하시겠구나. He would tell me to live for the Lord. 그럼 내가 하면 하면 도우시겠네. If I do it, then he would help 역사하겠네. me. 역사하겠네. He would work. 생명을 살리겠네. He'll let me save the lives. 영혼 구원하겠네. He'll let me save the souls. 예수님은 오늘 여러분의 마음에 이 마음을 심으려고. This is the heart that Jesus wants to plant in your heart today. 여러분을 베드로처럼 귀한 하나님의 일꾼으로 삼으시려고. Like Peter, he wants to take you as his precious servant. 남자나 여자나. Whether you're a man or a woman. 어른이나 아이나. Whether you're young or uh, old. 예수님 이렇게 우리에게 일하는 걸 봅니다. That's how Jesus is willing to work inside us. 자 이제 우리를 향한 주님의 뜻을 바라봅시다. Now let's look up on the will of Jesus. 우리 생각을 접읍시다. Let's you know fold our thoughts. 그 예수님의 말씀에 따라서. And following the word. 우리가 복음을 위해서 발을 내딛지. Let us take a step forward, living for the gospel. 저는 여러 번 여러 번난 복음 전도자 될 자격이 없다고 했어. Oftentimes I was determined, I was, I was convinced that I'm not a, I'm not worthy to be a disciple. 계속 하나님이 길을 여시는. But Jesus kept opening the path before me. 이스라엘에 가서 그 최고 높은 라비 만났습니다. When I went to Israel, I met the chief rabbi. 너무 너무. The fellowship was so good. 결론까지 난 갔지만. We didn't get to the conclusion, but. 그분은 율법을 이제 지켜야 한다고 주장을 해. So he he insists that he had to keep the commandments. 내가 성경의 출애굽기 이십오 장에. In Exodus chapter twenty-five. 그 십계명 돌판을 법궤 안에 넣고 뚜껑을 닫고 천사 날개를 덮어라 그 이야기였어. So I talked about the Hebrew, uh, Exodus 25 where he put the testimony in the ark and put the cherubims on the on the on the, <웃음> on the mercy seats. 제가 그 성경을 꼭 깜짝 놀랐어요. So when I read the scripture, I was very surprised. 법궤 뚜껑을 덮어 놓고. So leaving the the ark of the mercy seat upon it. 그 안에 시키면 돌판을 넣으라는 거예요. Then you put the testimony in the ark, the Bible says. 이야기 했더니 그저 뭐야 그분도 라비 그분도 깜짝 놀랐던 내 말이 막 거든요. When I told him, when I told him that he checked his own Bible, he was surprised because what I said was right. 왜 뚜껑을 덮어놓고 어떻게 법궤를 저 율법을 갖다놨냐? Why did he tell us to place the mercy seat first and then put the tablet in the in the ark? 저는 목사 성경 읽는 사람이니까. I'm a pastor. I read the Bible. 그래서 제가 그걸 여러 번 생각하고 생각. So oftentimes I read it and I thought over about it. 정상적인 뚜껑을 열고 usually you open it first. 시키면 돌비선을 넣고 뚜껑을 닫아놔야 하는데. And you put the lid back on. 이성이 뚜껑을 닫고 그 비석을 넣어라. But the Bible says you put the lid first and then you put the testimony in the ark. 생각하고 생각도 생각이 안 나. I thought over and over again, but I couldn't get the answer out of it. 오늘 제가 그걸 봤어요. One day I saw that. 제가 그 피아노 제가 그 이야기를 했는데. So I talked about the piano the other day. 피아노 이래 있는데. So we have a piano like this. 피아노가 한 봅시다. Let's see. 피아노가 이제 생각을. So I thought about getting a piano like this. 잘 보이죠? Do you see this? 예. 좀 치고. 피아노 이렇게 뚜껑이 닫혀 있어요. So the cover is closed. 여기 하던 뭘 넣으면 뚜껑을 열고. Usually you have to open it first. 돌비석을 넣어야 뚜껑을 왜 닫고 넣으라 그러지? Usually you have to open it first and put the put the testimony and close it. But why do you have to put it after having put the lid on it? 저는 목사니까. 
Because I'm a pastor. I read the Bible one by one after understand it, right? 아무리 이해가 안 돼. But no matter how much I try, I could not understand. 그 다음 이제 다시 뭔 생각이 들었냐면. But later I came to think. 뚜껑을 열고. When you open. 뚜껑을 열고. 저 뭐야? 여러 가지 내려놓고. 이제 법계를 저 율법 돌비서를 놓고. When you put the lid aside and you put the testament inside, 그거 하고 compared to that, 덮어 놓은 데다가 저 책가 좀 잡아서 덮어 놓은 데다가 with the lid on, 이제 돌비서를 넣으면 if you put the testament inside, 이렇게 들고 이렇게 넣으면 되는 거예요. You can just put it this way, right? 너무 쉬운 거예요. It was so easy. 왜 이렇게 하라고 하셨냐? Why did he did he tell them to do that? 돌비서를 보지 마라. Do not see the testimony. 보지 마라. Do not see the testimony. 그 뚜껑을 열어 놓고 돌비서 넣고 다시 뚜껑을 넣으면 시간이 많이 걸리는데. If you put the lid aside and put the ark and put the testimony and put the put uh, close the ark, it's going to take time. 뚜껑을 열고 바로 집어 넣으라 그러니까. And you keep the lid on and you just slip uh, the testimony into the ark. 아, 이렇구나. Oh, so this is how it is. 십계명을 보지 말라는 거. So do not see the ten commandments. 돌비서를 보지 말라는 거. Do not see the, the testimony. 은혜를 입으라는 거. So look for the grace. 하나님 우리가 율법 보는 걸 원치 않았어. God doesn't want us to see the, the commandments of the Lord. 그날 라비가 제 이야기 듣고. That day when the rabbi heard me, he was surprised. 왜? Why? 율법을 보지 못하게. 돌비서 안에 저 법궤 안에 집어넣고 뚜껑을 덮고 열지 마라 그랬어. He said he put the testament in the ark and he closed it and said don't look at it. 율법을 지키는 거 워낙 매일 율법 거집어 넣어 보고 읽고 읽고 해야 하는데. If he wants us to keep the law, then he wants you would want us to see it every day. 법궤 뚜껑을 열지 마라. He said don't open the open the ark. 베스메 사람들이 모르고 법궤 뚜껑을 열어봤어요. People of the Beth Shemesh without knowing that they just opened the ark. 그 뚜껑 열어본데 5만 70인이 죽어요. 50,000 70 people got killed because they opened the ark. Why? 율법 지키는 원한다면 If God wants them to keep the law. 율법 거제는 읽고 또 읽고 읽으면 우리 이렇게 율법 지키자 그래야 하는데. Could have told them to take the testimony out and read it and keep, try to keep it over and over again. Maybe he would have told us that. 하나님 우리 율법 지키는 거 원치 않습니다. But God didn't want us to keep want us to keep the commandments of the Lord. 왜냐하면 Why? 율법 앞에 오면 다 죄인이 되기 때문에. Because if we stand before the commandments, we are all sinners. 율법 안에 있는 아무도 없기 때문에. No one can keep the commandments. 한 율법으로 말미암지 않고 so, 은혜로 우리에게 복을 주시길 원하십니다. So not of the law, but of grace, you wanted to bless us. 오늘 얼마나 많은 교회 성도들이 How many members of the church these days? 주일마다 십계명을 봉독하는지 모르. Do you know how many of them they recite Ten Commandments every Sunday? That's not like the Bible. That's different from the Bible. If you were to rule over us with the commandment, we would all get cursed. That's why Jeremiah 31 verse 31 says, He said, I'll make a new covenant. This covenant is not the covenant that I made with them when they took, I took them out of the land of Egypt. Although I was husband to them, they disobeyed all my words. Yeah, 우리는 그렇습니다. Yes, that's how we are. 그렇기 때문에 은혜가 필요하지. That's why we need grace. 법이 필요한 게 아닙니다. What we need is not the law. 오늘 많은 교회가. But many churches. 율법을 지킴 복 받는다. These days they teach saying if you keep the law, you'd be blessed. 이제 대충 지키면 다 지키는데. Yes, if you're trying, if you're gonna uh, keep it roughly, maybe you could keep that. 정확히 지키는 한 사람도. If you're gonna keep it precisely, there is no one who can keep the law. 율법 앞에 우리 저주밖에 받을 수 없어. Because before the law, we can only be cursed. 율법을 어겼기 때문에. As we have all broken the law. 하나님은 율법이 아닌 긍휼로 은혜로 우리를 베풀려고 하는데. Not by law, but He wanted to give us blessing by grace. 율법을 지켜서. But people they try to keep the law. 자 베드로 예수 세번 부인했습니다. Peter denied Jesus three times. 뭐 우리의 죄가 그것만입니까? Is that our only sin? 근데 여러분 그거 예수님 볼때 별거 아니에요. 너 원래 죄 짓는 인간이잖아. But in Jesus' eyes, 그래서 너희들이 긍휼이 필요하지 법이 필요한 게 아니잖아. 법못 지키잖아. But in Jesus' eyes, that's not a big deal. That's how you were all the time. You cannot keep the law. 성경 그 얘기야. That's what the Bible is telling us. We have to stand before the grace. We have to stand before the blood of Jesus, which has been on us. God has proposed this way of salvation of grace. So as we read the Bible, Satan is so gullible. Being deceived by Satan. 율법을 지키면 복을 받겠구나 생각한다. Most people think I have to keep the law to be blessed. 율법을 지켜나면 한 사람도 없습니다. Not even a single person could keep the law. 그래서 하나님은 새 언약을 
세우십니다. 요한복음 8장 가라만 여자가 나타났을 때. 서기관들이 말했어요. 선생 여자 가나마다 현장에 잡혔습니다. 무슨 율법이 일하냐 돌로 치라 명하였거니와 선생은 어떻게 말하겠습니까? 예수님 손가락에 글씨를 쓰셨어요. 왜 글씨 쓰냐면 예레미야 31장 31절에서 하나님이 우리 인간을 법으로 상대하면 다 멸망받는 길이 다른 길이 없으니까. If God were to deal with us with the law, we, would, we could only get destroyed. 첫 번째 언약은 십계명이었습니다. The first covenant was the ten commandments. 새 언약을 세우라. So he said he would establish the new covenant. 그 언약은 뭡니까? What is that new covenant? 십계명은 다른 언약. This is the covenant that is different from the ten commandments. 십계명은 그 언약 우리를 지키면 우리가 저주를 받고 멸망을 받아요. Because by keeping the ten commandments, we could only get cursed. 구원 받을 수 있는 언약을. He gave us the covenant through which we can be saved. The days come that I'll make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Jeremiah 31 verse 31. This covenant is not like the covenant that I made with them with the house, the house of Israel. Because they all broke the law. They, should, they, all, they all deserve the curse. Israelite, they were captive, ca taken captive in the whole world. Many Jews, they died in Germany, right? 왜? Why? Because they could not keep the, law, keep the laws of God. The Bible says God is our Father. And what kind of person is the father? When we are born baby, the father and mother knowing our flaws, the mother would wash us, he would clean us. That's how we are cleansed. The newborn baby is not something that he should, he should do by himself. So we are all babies before God. So he said he will establish a new covenant. The day is come. Why? Because it could only be cursed by the law. 그래서 가나안 여자를 살리기 위해서. So in order to save this woman caught in the act of adultery. 손가락으로 땅에 걸치 쓰셨어요. Jesus began to write with his finger on the ground. 율법이 아닌 새 언약을 쓰셨어요. To write not the laws but to write the covenant. 가나안 여자 가나안 잡혔는데. This woman was taken back to the adultery. 율법으로 재판 벌에 맞아 죽습니다. If she were to be judged by the law, she would be stoned to death. 새 언약으로 재판하니까. But when she was judged by the new covenant. 예수님 나도 너를 정죄치 않는다고 했습니다. Jesus said, Neither do I condemn thee. 얼마나 놀라운 사실인지. What an amazing truth! 하나님을 찬양합니다. I praise God. 자 이제 여러분 여러분 다 율법을 그 부족하지요. So all of us we have broken the law. We are all lacking. 허물 있고 죄를 지었죠. We have blemishes. We have flaws. We have sinned. 이제 그런 우리를 so we who are like that. 양을 치라고 하는 하나님 음성을 들으십시오. So we should listen to the voice of God who told us to feed His sheep. 여러분 전부 달라집니다. You would all change. I'm not telling you not to cook the rice. I'm not telling you not to work. But, but cook the rice for the gospel. Live for the gospel. If God works in you, 여러분들도 얼마든지 하나님의 능력을 따라 복음을 전하고 사람을 구원할 수 있다는 거죠. You too, following the heart of God, you'd be able to save people from their sins. 우리 교회 장로님들이 elders of our church, 5월 25일부터 잠실에 집회하기로 그 결정을 하셨습니다. From 23rd of May, we are going to have this uh, Grand Bible Seminar in Olympic Hall. 얼마나 감사한지요. I'm so thankful about 정말 it. 정말 알맞은 때라고 생각합니다. I think it's a very good time. 하나님 이거 기뻐하시고. And God is pleased of this. 이번에 여러분 다 통해서 일하기로 원하십니다. So he wants to work each, through each and every one of you. 한 사람도 빠짐없이. Not, not leaving anyone behind. 하나님 여러분을 통해서 이 복음 전파되길 하나 원하십니다. God would want the gospel to be preached through you. 같이 참내합시다. Let us let us take part. 반드시는 복을 얻을 것이고. Then you'd be blessed through this. 그럼 귀한 하나님 일꾼이 되어서. And let all, all, we would all become the precious workers of God. 하나님 할수 있는 여러분 될줄 믿습니다. Being able to please God. 감사합니다. Thank you.